Hey folks, this is Jonathan with uh, Kilpatrick Land and Livestock, and I am here with a um, gate that I just built the other day, and I've been wanting to do a video about these. Um, I've been working on this design for three to four years now with lots of different materials, and I think that I have finally settled on what I think is as close to perfect as it's going to get, although I say that kind of laughing because I know I'll find something I'm going to change but this is a um copied after the Greg Judy design in his book Comeback Farms and um probably in his his YouTube channel uh you've seen a video and I've made some modifications designs so it's a three strand um obviously electric and I my design has it with a, a quick connect here so power off power on and I'm just going to walk through kind of um, how I build it and some tips uh, if you decide to build your own. Uh, first I'm going to disconnect it here and I'll see if I can do this with uh, while holding the phone. Okay so as you can see that's pretty tight and that's really important. Um, when you're building these, you want a tight gate, not sloppy. They will tend to loosen up over time, so build them tight, and then you can always come back and uh, re-tighten them. But um, when your livestock hit it, you want them to make good contact with those um, strands um, and not um, have them be able to push them away and all that. Anyhow, so what we've got here is we've got inch and a quarter. And I'll uh, pull this up so you can see it a little better. Um, Yeah, inch and a quarter um, fiberglass rod, and then we've drilled. I like to pre-drill all my holes. So on this one, we've got holes that the uh, quarter inch polyflex gold rope is going through, and that is the best you're gonna find, um, best I've found, um, which is quarter inch, um, 22 filaments in there. And so I drill, that's like about a 3 8 hole, and then I, tie my rope on with two half hitches and that allows me to untie it easily later and uh, readjust it and then i'm just gonna throw the tape measure on here so you can see but i found that uh 10 inches 19 and 30 sorry i'm upside down here uh, here we go 10 8 19 and 30 is the best uh spacing for sheep if you're going to do three strands um, I've done two strands successfully, um, four or five sometimes might even be appropriate depending on your situation, what you're dealing with. Um, so, but that's what I found for three strands really works well. We're set up with three strand high trencil here. So it just, that's what we've got. Um, total length on this is 43 inches and I wouldn't want to go too much shorter than that. Uh, because when you're putting it back in you want to have um, some height on this end because you're using it as a lever because it is so tight. Um, and sometimes I you know, just use my foot, stick it in, there's a, there's a loop right there. There's a loop right there, high tensile. And then you stick the bottom in there. And then you have to push because I got this thing tight. And you just loop it right in there. Um, and you can see that's that's super tight. So here's our hinge end. And when you're trying to decide what how you're going to build these things um my suggestion is so we've got high tensile going this way high tensile going that way when i open this thing up and if i'm going to move animals through here or just leave it open um i like to set it up so that my hinge end allows me to only open at 90 degrees so from here over to here is just a 90 degree gate open versus putting it on this end if i open it and want to get it out of the way i have to go a full 180 degrees all the way back with it so that's just a little tip saves you a little time um but down here on this end this is a 33 inch again inch and a quarter fiberglass rod and i drilled holes here for a high tensile wire which goes around the back and is just stapled in there same thing on the bottom and then 90 degrees to that up 10 inches we've drilled our 3 8 hole 19 same thing and 30 the same and i pre-drill these and pre-paint them um, you're going to want to paint them 
um, should always paint your fiberglass, but especially if you're building gates because you'll get fiberglass splinters every time you open and close it and they're nasty. So go ahead and just do yourself a favor and paint that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, down here on this end is where I've made it hot. I like my gates um, to be cold when they're open. I like to have the option to um, you know, disconnect them like that. This is 12 and a half gauge. I'm gonna disconnect this real quick. 12 and a half gauge um, aluminum wire. And I've just wrapped it around each strand several times and then come off with this tail. And this is, believe it or not, just a, like a tube insulator that you'd use in high tensile wood posts. It's one of those ones that you can just slip it on a wire. And that is enough to provide me a little handle. And then I've just, you know, wrapped some aluminum wire around there with a hook. Uh, you do need to be careful about mixing your wires. You can get um, corrosion on them, especially if you mix aluminum and steel. So this is probably something I would um, actually want to come back and maybe just put some steel wire a crimp on it. It hasn't seemed to have been a problem with this, though. So um, I like it because it wraps really easy and it's super conductive. Um, yeah, so anyhow, these have worked really well for us so far i'm sure there'll be some changes i'll make um in the future again um go ahead and buy the polyflex i think this is actually like um 23 cents a foot so it's not cheap um the polyflex flex gold and it's quarter inch cord or rope 22 filaments you know that's going to be hot that's going to provide a really good shock to whatever touches that and it's very visible which is the other thing i like about it so i can see uh see it when it's up see it when it's down etc and then uh you know if you are the type of person that likes to have your gates hot at all times um probably what i would do in your situation then just come down here and you can uh you know do your wire wraps on your strands here and maybe you uh connect into that with just a steel wire you crimp onto your high tensile and then you're you're good to go. You're going to be hot at all times. Um, so, anyhow, hope you enjoyed this, and hope it was helpful. Um, we will uh, we'll see you in another video.